Welcome to Dust Off the Bricks. I've done a few things on the zoo, but for now, what I'm going to be talking about is the PAB uh, haul that I got in from Lego today. So, obviously, I, got, I had to get a bunch of these. I was worried. How many did I order of these? 500 of these. Okay. So, I was actually worried that 500 probably wasn't going to be enough. And I could be wrong, but I think this is plenty. This is, if you guys want to see my drawer of these, obviously I've used all the light gray ones already, which is like 10. But my drawer for these is right here. So this is it. This is all I had, and then they're probably like 10 to 20 light gray. So I'll have to say uh, that drawer is going to be upgraded probably to one of these. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll be able to put the uh, finish off a lot of the tiling with this so that's good um i got some reverse slopes this is a little much too i ended up picking up a bunch from my local lego store the brick shop i ended up picking up a bunch from bricks and minifigs when i visited there uh, last weekend um i've been getting a decent a ton of pieces honestly i've been just like going through trying to going through a bunch of bulk trying to find a bunch of these so i actually got a bunch so this might be a little much but you know um if I do, if I can, in the next year, um, because it's not till May, um, mid-May weekend that I'm going to be displaying this at the uh, Lego convention. So if I'm able to get a bunch more of these slopes and go at least maybe five bricks taller, then I'm okay with that. It will look way better, I think, five bricks taller. Honestly, I, w I still wanted to go 20 bricks, but I was a little just overzealous with uh that idea um i i thought i had more lego than i did so yeah but i got these then i got these and i guess i didn't get them in light gray so i'm just gonna still make another pab order I actually i've already started making another list of lego pieces i need um and, and putting it in my shopping cart so i'll have to put light gray ones of these so yeah these oh look at that glad i found that have to pull that out later put that to the side um so i'll have to get more light gray these these i don't actually plan on using the zoo at this moment i mean things could change but majority of the ground is tiled off so i don't think i'll use these but i saw them and i was like you know what these are uh i've wanted to do tile work with these because they make if you just do this like put them all the corners together so i'm on the ground right now my lego table is occupied with some sets right now that i am going to be doing a review on tonight but i want to do this video first i want to do a design like this with them um i think they look cool i've seen them on other uh mocks and i think it looks really good so i figured you know what i'll start getting my collection of these a little bit um just start working on them slowly as i start ordering more and more pab um and then i got two of these balloon guys i actually have two more coming um, obviously this isn't all of it. This is just my best sellers stuff. So I ordered two of these because I want to do a balloon, uh, stand in the zoo. So I'm hoping to do just normal balloons and then some of these guys as well. Some of these inverted slopes, goats. If you know me, I collect Lego animals. So I have probably around 350 to 400 different Lego animals and I'm, it's getting more and more every single uh, month so maybe someday i'll have them all i doubt it but i am working on that these i did i ordered different colors as well of those but i used them right there i don't know if i like the black you can't see that it's a great so i might switch that to white and it goes to the other side other side there other side there uh but so i might switch that out to white and also i only had like four of one color i didn't have a ton of one color i guess it's not a very common piece that i've acquired because majority of my lego that i have in these drawers are actually obtained by taking apart sets so obviously it's not a super common piece at least i've gotten sets with a large amount of them so i just picked up a few of them I actually have, i'm pretty sure i have more coming these pieces um i like these pieces i think i'm gonna be using them more I grabbed the gray, uh, gray ones to put here just in case, but someone did say on the last video, they commented that they liked the contrast of this. 
I do too. I do really like the contrast, and it kind of blends in with the um, the elephant enclosure and the ticket stand. But I'm thinking about I might switch it off to tan. So I might use these tans. Um, obviously, I don't have enough here. And I do have a couple more colors coming, so hopefully I will be able to finish off that last one. I'm pretty sure I did get some more nougat ones. If not, I'm guess I'm making another pad order, so it's gonna be fine. These pieces I don't actually need in the zoo anymore. Um, I was gonna use them right here. I ended up using cheese slopes, and I think it kind of looks better. I don't know. Here I use the tiles. Here I use the cheese slopes. So I haven't decided yet, but I used up pretty much all the ones I had. I think I only have one of these left, and then I use I only had like two of these in general. So I was like, you know what, in the future I might need more of these anyway, so it's a good idea to stock up if I'm running out of pieces. Some more pieces I'm going to be getting is the cylinders in green. I've been running low on those. I've been getting tons of the brown ones on bulk at like Bricks and Minifigs and stuff and the Brick Shop. So, and then I also need a bunch of different colors of those. I actually need a bunch of pieces of lots of things because I had to change my design of this that I have not shown yet. I'll show that later in this video. I had to change it like four or five times because of lack of certain pieces I had. So, but, and then some more slopes, some more slopes and these bushes. I don't have this color at all. So at least I don't think I do. I might honestly, but I think this will look good in some of the exhibits. Um, I think maybe the uh, bears will get a couple of these and then the camels will get a couple of those. I just like this bush uh, piece. And then tons of panels. So I'll be able to finish off the aquarium and then possibly work on the enclosures here to get them. I've been trying to figure out a design. I might change this up a little bit, but my plan right now is leave it how it is, but put those these panels over the top. So it actually, I can put like a polar bear in the water. That's my plan for at this moment. And then order some more of these. I actually didn't need any more of them. I, with taking apart a few sets the last couple weeks, um, I've acquired enough, but I have just have enough. I think I have one extra now. So, you know, just keeping, getting, uh, making sure I have enough of each piece for future mocks and stuff like that. I'm trying to accumulate more pieces for larger mocks and better mocks in the future. Because after this is done, I displayed at the um, Brick Cascades. Depending on how well it does, if it does amazing and I'm getting lots of positive um, feedback on it and, you know, maybe win, like, I don't know, whatever they win. I've never been in a convention before, but I think there's a like people's choice or whatever. If it wins something, I might even just actually extend it um, six more and maybe even one more brick and one more uh, base plate this way it won't fit on my table that way but i think it will fit on the convention tables it'll look good if i if I, it's not just super long and i just bring it out a little bit so if it does super well i might extend it if not it's going to take it apart i'm going to be working on something else um, i have a few ideas in my head for some other large mocks my goal is also to be able to do um a large mock and do some small mocks because I don't I don't want to just be working on a massive mock for a year obviously I want to be able to do smaller mocks as well but yeah so and then uh, these I am pretty much almost out of them I've gotten a few more from taking apart sets but definitely need more and I love this green here so definitely be able to use that somewhere in the exhibits but yeah so that's my orders. Oh, other sets I got. So I needed another tiger and a different tiger because this tiger is an interesting color. I think that tiger looks more like a tiger. So I got that set. I'll be doing a review on that when I get all of them in. And then I got, where's the other one? Oh, well, I got this one a while ago, but I stepped on tiles. I have this guy right here. So for my gorillas, I ended up picking up that set. And I don't know where the other one is, but I got, oh, the red panda. I actually ordered two of these. So, and they only sent me one. So, and I checked my order again, and it says I have two. I paid for two. So, you know, with all my free time that I have, I'm going to be uh, 
email them late, you know, later today and uh, trying to get that one sent to me. I mean, I'm not in a huge rush. I just figured, hey, I'm making a PAB order. Might as well throw those sets in there. I ordered the alligator one as well. That's on back order and the gorilla one hasn't come out yet. Oh, and then I got this cool piece I'm gonna try to use in a, somewhere. I'm probably gonna try to use it in the gorillas. I think it would be a cool little piece to use in the gorillas. So I'm gonna try to use that piece as well. And yeah, so hopefully with these pieces, I'm able to finish off with all the tiling Oh, I also ordered 300 sand blue one by ones because that was all I had left. Don't know if I'm gonna need more, but I figured why not? Might as well order them. If I don't need them, then uh, cool. I have a bunch of more sand blue. I went to the Lego store in uh, Washington Square Mall this weekend as well. And I asked if they had those on the pad wall because I wasn't allowed inside because they closed their shop because a kid got a bloody nose and they had to call a biohazard cleaning crew. So, so they said they were going to be closed for multiple hours. And I was like, cool. I just drove three and a half hours to visit friends and family. And then I drove an additional 45 minutes to the Lego store and they were closed. So I had to drive 45 minutes back. So that was a little bit of a waste of time. But um, Lego has their policies, I guess. So um, I don't know. I think Clorox wipes would have done just fine on cleaning up that, but I understand that everybody has their policies. But yeah, so I'm, oh, so you know what? Uh, this video is already getting to like 12 minutes, so I'm going to probably do a small um, video on updates on the zoo. Uh, I will try to get some of the stuff implemented into the zoo and then do a show you guys what i've done which isn't much so far but uh so you guys i'll see you guys in the next clip okay so i was able to implement a lot of those pieces i got i also put a lot of the ones that i didn't use away but i'll just show you with all those imp all those pieces implemented and other things i've done at this on the zoo so it's kind of a full zoo update with it's probably will end up being around 15 16 minutes long so all right so first uh all the half tiles are placed and i actually i so all the tiling is pretty much done besides around the exhibits that i haven't decided on a barrier yet technically i have decided on a barrier on this one i'm gonna start it the building right here so this is going to be in a building and this is going to be in a building i'm going to start the building right there so actually so this tile will actually have to be removed too so i could start those walls or whatnot but i haven't decided so i could tile um around there as well i guess a little bit more just realize that but if you look over here the rock wall is completed finally i have a decent amount of slopes left definitely not enough to go five higher or anything right now but you know i'll keep finding slopes and collecting them definitely running out of different slopes that i didn't purchase that i thought i would have plenty of oh over here you might find this piece this came in a couple city sets but it's like a a giant uh venus fly trap oh my word why can i not open it um, I'm gonna try to implement that in the in the um, gorillas enclosure. So I have that sitting over there. Don't know how I'm going to yet. So all the tiling's done. Haven't decided what to do on the stairs yet at all. But the aquarium's completed. Well, the outside of the aquarium is completed now. On the camels and ostriches, I did this little barrier type thing. It, I just used some small, the th what is it, three length and four length bar elements and tried to make a little fun little enclosure there and use the, uh, the one by two rounded pieces to on the top. I don't know. I think it adds a nice little, I like it. You guys can let me know what you think. Over here, I use just... Uh, one by twos and one by three tiles to create kind of like a fence but i used through in those dark brown tiles as well 
for some contrast. And then over in the tiger exhibit, I brought that enclosure in that I talked about in the last review over one. So I think that's all I've done. I, I did reinforce that when I redid it. I, I tore off a bunch and, re, and reinforced it quite a bit. So, yeah. So that's... That, I'm not... Oh, oh my word. I almost forgot the penguins. So uh, I just was working on this just the other night. So it's supposed to be like a... It obviously doesn't work completely as I planned. But uh, a little ramp for the penguins to slide down. And I'll build slopes in and stuff like that. But I figured I'd better put that in before I put any of the slopes going. So I, I like that. I think it's a little fun, playable feature that just adds a little uh, character to this build as well. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've done. I'm not going over all the enclosures. So if you do want to see the um, all the enclosures... I will link a description to the last update where I'll go over what I've done in all the enclosures because this one, I didn't go over much. I didn't do much. So it was pretty much the pieces I ordered from Bricklink or wow, not Bricklink, off of Lego and then using those pieces to complete things I've already done. And then I just did a quick update on the three things I did work on. I've been pretty busy in the Lego room, so... That's why not much has been done. I've only worked on three enclosures, finishing two of the bar uh, the barriers, I guess I would call them. And then still haven't figured out. I guess I'm just doing this type of stuff on the rest of that and that one. So I, it, I don't know. I'm tired of rock work. Uh, I'll tell you that right now. I've done so much rock work in this entire zoo. I spent probably a good two hours just doing that section alone. So you can imagine how much... I think it was like three nights working on all this rock work for the rest of the zoo. So I think I have enough slopes to maybe go five further. Or at least I will by the time I display this at the cascade but i need a break from rock work it's a uh, exhausting and exhausting in like a mental because i i think i try to think when i put each brick down i don't want it i want it to i want it to look random but also in a cool manner so I'm I'm pretty much thinking every single slope I put down. So it takes a it takes a while and it's exhausting and I probably laid probably three probably a good two thousand slopes down. I I mean that could be exaggerating a little bit, but it's definitely a lot of slopes. So yeah, that's the zoo update. Definitely subscribe if this is the first one you're watching to see the how this whole zoo turns out i'll be having to make another uh order to lego as well as i go through this i've already added a few pieces so i think it's looking pretty good so far definitely that rock work done over there but thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time